Back into it at Tail Varsity Radio, live here at Lucas Oil Stadium. Husker quarterback Jeff Sims joins us. Uh, Mr. Sims, nice to meet you. Thank Good to spend you. a few nice minutes. Thanks too. for joining us here on Radio Row. So let's let's give the Jeff Sims rating on, on dinner last night. Uh, we were both at St. Elmo's. St. Elmo's, man, and I love it. <laughs> it was it was incredible. But your first time there? My first time there. It was um, yeah, it was it was pretty interesting. You know, um, you a big steak guy? I am okay. actually. That's been my favorite food since I was a little kid. So I got I got a bone-in ribeye. Twenty, I think it was like twenty-eight ounce. You Look know? at you, man. Yeah. I tore it up too. And, uh, Satterfield's talked about you, you know, bulking up. Oh yeah, most definitely. I, I've embraced that. You know, this offseason been big for me. I this is the most I've ever weighed. So I mean, and it it doesn't feel bad. So like, I think that's a good thing. Let's let's go there and stay with that. We could spend more time on bony and ribeyes too. I mean, that, <laughs> that, that'd be fun. But in all seriousness, uh, you know what? What's your take? What what's your notion here about the Big Ten? As as a quarterback that has a, you know ability to hurt teams with his arm but make plays with his legs, what does a quarterback need, in your opinion, in the Big Ten? I would say the weight, you know, um, need to be durable because I know the Big Ten is more hard mouth football, you know, like bigger guys, you know, and um, so I think that's that's something that I noticed that I had to I had to get better with was my weight because I never really focused on it like that. So when I got here. I told myself, like, you got to get to a certain weight where you're durable for the season and you're you're available for your teammates. So I think that's something that um, me and my dietitian, um, Ms. Kristen, she's helped me a lot. And um, it's been it's been kind of good to see, like, any time my weight goes up, she gets so happy. So I, that's kind of <laughs> another reason I like to put on a little weight, just to see her happy. It's Husker quarterback Jeff Sims with us here, Hale Varsity Radio. And, Jeff, when you talk about that, that body reshaping, I was never a great athlete, but I remember whenever I'd hit the weight room, my jump shot would get screwed up in basketball. I'd start shooting it long. Is there anything similar to that at the quarterback position where as you reshape your body, it changes your throwing motion? There's any, any differences there as you put on some weight? Uh, not really. Um, I think that's something that the strength staff does a good job at. Um, they, make sure that they, they make sure that they take care of our arms. So we do like shoulder testing and stuff like that just to make sure that our arms still intact, you know, um, make sure that we're still on good pace to throw the ball. And um, anytime, like, we, we have a good warm-up, they got a set warm-up for us. So so we're not um, just going out there and throwing the ball on cold arms. And um, I think that's something that they've been doing a good job at is just making sure that they balance between gaining weight and also maintaining our arm strength and arm stability and motion in our arms and stuff like that. Because I know that I've gained, I've gained a lot of mobility in my shoulders while putting on weight. So I think that's something that's been good. Jeff Sims, few minutes with us. Hale Varsity Radio, Big Ten Media Days. I've watched some film on you and really impressed with the plays you make on the move. Mm-hmm. Uh, when, you're, when you're outside the pocket or it's a run pass option or it's an improv. But also when you do drop back, the, the, the pocket presence and hanging in there to, to find a seam route or a or a go route, which, you know, you've, you've done both. Let's talk about what the, the vision is for you in this offense with Satterfield, as he's your quarterback's coach as well, but your fit and, and your strengths here. What What's going to be applied from what you do well to what the offense will be? So our offense is very versatile, mm-hmm. and that's one thing that I really like. Um, Coach Sat introducing me to a lot of new stuff. So um, I think that's something that's going to be on display, like just the versatility of the offense and just showing that we can we can be a multi-face offense. You know, we can go in the center, we can we can be in the spread, we can do a lot. So I think that's something that's going to um, be really good for us just to put different things on display. And um, I think it's beneficial for me just to adjust to doing things different and um, just knowing that I can do, because in my head I can do anything on the field. So just knowing that I can do anything on the field and, Knowing that, um, knowing that the offense will fit to my strengths and any weakness that I have, I can work it out in practice. You mentioned the, the fit being so important. As you look at this offense, you know what, what do you want to do or do you care when it comes to the running part of that, the quarterback run game? I'm going to do whatever I got to do. You know, do whatever I got to do to put the team ahead and put the team in the best position. 
Um, and I know Coach Sat. He knows he, me and him have a good enough relationship to where he knows what I can do. He knows what I need to work on, and I'm going to do everything I can do to put the offense in the best position. Jeff Sims with us here, Hale Varsity Radio. And Jeff, take me through that process of learning a new offense here this offseason. I'm not asking you to divulge any state secrets of what the offense is going to look like, uh, but I've heard some rumblings of, of the coaching staff utilizing some technology, maybe some VR headsets in order to yeah. help you guys learn the offense. How has that been going, and how comfortable do you feel in the offense as you approach fall camp? Uh, I feel very comfortable in the offense right now. and um, I think learning a new offense, it really takes dedication and like a lot of studying. Um, studying and just making sure that you know everything that you need to know. I think the biggest way for me to learn is by testing myself. So I'll have the coaches like send me concepts that they need me to draw up or like just send me concepts throughout the day and I'll be like, I'll draw them up and like I'll ask questions as I'm drawing them up. And um, one big thing that's helped me learn the offense is our coaches, anytime we draw something up, they make sure that you write every detail on it, like yardage and all that, like alignment. So just knowing every little detail of the offense and then going back to the VR, the virtual reality, I think that's something that's really cool. I've never seen anything like it. And um, I think just getting those mental reps and visualizing it, that, that's something that's really helped us. You truly get a <clears throat> feel for it, don't yeah. you, with that with that technology? Exactly. Uh, Jeff Sims, a couple more minutes with us. Hail Varsity Radio as uh, we're here at Big Ten Media Days. So let's talk about the, the, the team in general, your role uh, as quarterback and that leadership part of the responsibility. And, and how have you been able to connect with your teammates? <clears throat> how do you go about doing that? Yeah, so my dad... <clears throat> My dad is one of the greatest leaders I know. And um, one thing I notice is being a great leader requires you to get to know the guys that you're leading. <clears throat> so my biggest thing when I got here was to to get to know the guys, build relationships with them, hang out with them. So that's what I've been doing. I've been hanging out with the guys, doing different stuff with them, going bowling, you know, going to lake houses, just hanging out with the guys and getting to know them. So I think that – that's helped me a lot because I actually know the guys. I know how they react to stuff. I know how different people react. And I know, like, what pushes people's buttons and what doesn't. So it, when you take that approach, I think it's way easier to lead when you take that approach because they see you as a brother and they got much more respect for you because I don't feel like you can lead somebody that doesn't respect you, you mm -hmm. know, because they're not going to listen. So I think gaining their respect and getting to know them is the biggest thing that has – Help me out. Tell me more about your dad and, and his influence from a leadership standpoint. Uh, just what, what type of example uh, he's been for you. Mm -hmm. So my dad, my dad, um, he, he was a manager at Planet Fitness. And then when I was like 12, we started our own lawn service. And on, on like yard care? Yeah. So Really? Yeah. So after, after like a couple years doing it, he decided to just – take over that full time mm -hmm. and so he's running his own business right now he's an entrepreneur and just the way that he operates with the guys that he works with is is, is truly amazing see and he's a minister in the church okay so like he 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 just sets an example of what it is to be a good leader and what it is to lead by example or what it is to you know tell guys what to do tell them this tell them that and just make sure everything's on on pat on path Jeff Sims with us here, Hale Varsity Radio. And Jeff, has your dad gotten the chance to, to come up to Lincoln and, and see the campus, see Nebraska? Has he gotten the chance to do that yet? Yeah, most definitely. My first week here, he stayed up here the whole week. So, so, so um, it, was, it, was, it was really cool to see. His first time seeing snow was when he came up here for that first week. So he <laughs> Snow is overrated. Yeah, it is. It's, <laughs> it's funny because he touched, a, he touched a pile of snow and it was hard. He was like, man, I thought snow was going to be more fluffy than In the mountains when you're skiing. Yeah, it was, it was funny. <laughs> Well, Jeff Sims with us. Last thought, Jeff. Um, we, we've talked about the Big Ten. We talked about your role at quarterback. And, and the skill guys, I think Nebraska fans are excited about. Mm -hmm. But touch on kind of your relationship and your feelings on the offensive line. I mean, what, what yeah. can the line be this year for Nebraska? The line is going to be a very big piece of the, um, of the team. You know, I think the line is going to take the biggest jump over any other position group because they've been working. They've been working really hard. And um, just seeing them – they're they're the first ones to every meeting, every workout, you know, before practice, they're meeting before practice, you know, and the guys just they just work hard, you know. And um I think 
my biggest thing with them was just making sure that they know I support them and like know that I believe in them 100%. Like there's nothing they can do in my eyes that's wrong. And like, but on the same time, on the same time, if they do something wrong, like I'll tell them. So yeah. like, I think just building a relationship with them, hanging out with them, talking to them, I think that's been really good. What trait or characteristic gives you confidence in them? Just their work ethic. You know, okay. um, their work ethic is um, very good, and their the O line is like a brotherhood. You mm-hmm. know, like they're they're one of the close knit teams on the group, on um, one of the close knit groups on the team. Like mm-hmm. they're the closest position group on the team so just seeing how they operate together they do everything together and um that that gives me confidence that they're gonna go out there and do what they need to do jeff quickly here before we get you out we've heard a lot from the offense line about their relationship with donovan riola we hear he's an intense guy take us behind the scenes on that well, what's it like with you working with donovan riola is he is he as intense as he's made out to be he is he is so coach riola he loves his old lineman now like he'll get on them like he'll he like he'll rip him and stuff but there is no doubt if they ever need him, he'll be there in a second. You know, he, he'll do anything. So for it's them. tough love? Yeah, it's like tough love. Like, and they know that. Like, he'll get on them, but they know at the end of the day, if they ever need him, they can go to him for anything. Jeff Sims. Jeff, nice to meet you. Thank Thanks you. for the time. Yes, sir.